I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question which I'm sharing with you. The question is, determine asymptotes and intercepts to sketch graph of the function absolute x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Now those of you who are doing calculus, they can actually use their concepts of first and second derivative to sketch the curve of this function, right? Now this question is meant for the students who so are just starting to learn functions and therefore I am not talking about first and second derivatives in this particular example. So now the question has been restricted kind of to sketch the graph with the knowledge of asymptotes and intercepts, right? So you could actually sketch a fairly good graph with that information. So let's begin by finding the intercepts and then the asymptotes, right? So let's first find the intercepts for the given function. So what is x-intercept? x-intercept is a point where y value is 0. So for x-intercept y equals to 0, that means the numerator is 0. Is that okay? So that means in our case f of x is equals to 0. And that can happen if absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to 0 and that is to say that x is equal to minus 1. And therefore, we have an x-intercept at x equals to minus 1. So this point is minus 1, 0 for us. Okay. Now let's find the y-intercept. Now y-intercept is a point where x value is equal to 0. So if I write 0 here, what do I get? You get f of 0 equals to absolute value of 0 plus 1 divided by 0 minus 1. Or 1 divided by minus 1 is minus 1. So the y-intercept in this case is minus 1. Okay. How about the asymptotes? So we clearly have a vertical asymptote. That is when the denominator is 0, that is x minus 1 equals to 0, and that gives us x equals to 1. So we have 1 vertical asymptotes. Now, let's get to the horizontal asymptotes. Horizontal asymptote is kind of tricky for this particular example. Well, I'd like you to pause the video answer the question, then look into my suggestion. Now, what is horizontal asymptote? Horizontal asymptote is what happens when x approaches positive infinity and what happens when x approaches negative infinity. So for this function, if x is very large positive, numerator is always positive, denominator is going to be positive, right? So positive large values will give us positive answer in both. So we'll say f of x actually approaches positive 1 if x is approaching positive infinity, right? Now you could find this also by substituting large value for x and use the calculator, right? On the other hand, if I'm taking x as a large negative value, numerator is always positive. However, the denominator becomes negative, right? So, f of x approaches negative 1, correct? So, we have two horizontal asymptotes here. One is f of x equals to 1, or you can say y equals to 1. The other one is y equals to negative 1, right? So, with this information, we kind of have a rough sketch of the graph. So let's try to sketch this one. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. Let's say this is our vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. And we have a horizontal asymptote. We are saying when x approaches plus 1, horizontal asymptote is at plus 1. When x approaches positive infinity, but when x approaches negative infinity, we have horizontal asymptote of minus 1. So these points are 1, 1, this is negative 1, this is positive 1, these are positive, correct? Plus, we have x and y intercepts. x intercepts is minus 1, 0. 
y intercept is also the same right so y intercept is sorry x intercept is minus 1 0 which is here right so minus 1 0 is x intercept y intercept is uh, 0 minus 1 so these are your x intercept now if you want to take few more points to sketch the graph it will be better actually so what you can do here is to sketch it further we can find behavior near the graph near the asymptotes right so this asymptote for us is at x equals to 1 so as x approaches 1 from positive side that means right side so x is greater than 1 you will find that the f of x if you have, if you have a value which is close to 1 but greater in that case f of x approaches positive infinity right so on this side it approaches positive infinity however if x approaches 1 from negative side then the denominator will be negative. Numerator is always positive, okay? So in this case, f of x approaches negative infinity, kind of like this, right? So that gives you an idea that the graph could be of this form, correct? So graph is kind of like this. On the right side, approaching 1, I mean infinity when x approaches 1, positive, and on this side, it is kind of like this. Now here is kind of tricky. You have an horizontal asymptote which is at minus one, not plus one. So it will approach this from above being a continuous function and it will be kind of like as shown here, right? Okay. Now since we are restricted with the limited knowledge at present, you could get few points by finding the value of the function at let us say f of minus 2 you can calculate this value you can calculate the value at f of uh, let's say we know already at 1 it is an asymptote f of 2 right so if I do minus 2 here in this case I'll get minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 minus 1 which is this is 1 over minus 3 so minus 1 over 3 is it okay so at minus 2 I am expecting a value which is minus 1 third do you see that so it's kind of here do you understand and f of 2 I'll get a value which is 3 over 1 2 minus 1 correct or 3 so at 2 I'm expecting a value which is kind of 3 for us is it okay so we have 2 and 3 so these points can help you to get slightly better curve than what I have okay so but in any case you have a graph like this what do you notice we have two horizontal asymptotes and a vertical asymptote correct and we have one vertical asymptote is it okay now what you can do is if you know first and second derivatives you can actually find the concavity and then sketch a better graph this is one thing second in this particular example you can write down solution to these things one is increasing and decreasing interval now from the graph it is very clear when is the function positive so positive or negative interval right and domain range so as an added exercise for your practice for the given function you can write down their increasing decreasing interval when is the function positive when is it negative and what is domain and range for the given function I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate this example. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.